Hi, today we are going to learn equivalence of CFG and PDA. If there is a CFG, context free grammar, and we prove it, there is also equivalent push down automata for that grammar, then these are equivalent. If there is a PDA and we prove it, there is a grammar equivalent to that PDA, that is also equivalence. As we know, empty stack acceptance, acceptance in PDA is equivalent to final state acceptance of PDA. Both are equivalent. So if we prove it, a uh, context free grammar equivalent to empty stake or final state acceptance, both are same. So this is a grammar. If it is a context free grammar, then there should be a derivation of production rule A drive alpha, where A belongs to variable and alpha belongs to V union T closer, T is a terminal. <coughs> M, there is a push down automata machine, M, which consists of states, number of states, input symbols, tau, symbols in stack, transition function, star symbol, bottom of the first symbol that is inserted in this stack, and final state. If we prove equivalent machine of per this grammar, then equivalence of CFG to PDA is proved. So there are some assumptions. If there is a grammar, we take a machine for PDA such that number of state is only one Q. Input symbol is replaced by terminal T. Tau is replaced by V union T. Transition function is same. Q is the state. S is the star symbol. And phi. There is nothing in stack. So, this is empty stake acceptance machine that will accept the context free grammar. So for context free grammar, there is a rule. If this is the grammar and this is the equivalent machine by assumption, the transition function would be such that if there is a derivation in production rule, A derives beta in production rule mean beta is belongs to V union T closer. So transition function says Q you read epsilon and A which is in left side it moves to Q and beta which is in right side of the production rule. If A reads an epsilon as an input symbol, A is the top of the stack, then it will be converted into same state and right side of the production rule. Second assumption is if you read Q and there is a terminal terminal for example A and A is the top of the stack then there should be a pop operation here it is push operation here pop so if there is a grammar VTPS in this form so we can create a equivalent push down automata where transition would be in this form let's take example 
दिस ग्रामर एस ड्राइव ए एस बी और ए बी हाउ मेनी वेरिएबल्स आर देयर ओनली वन वेरिएबल विच इज एस एंड टर्मिनल्स स्मॉल ए एंड बी सो फॉर द मशीन वी हैव एज्यूम अ स्टेट क्यू सो ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन से इज इफ क्यू रीड एप्स आई लॉन एंड द वेरिएबल एस हेयर टोटल नंबर ऑफ you have to put all the variables at this position here is only one variable so q input symbol epsilon s is the variable then s is the top of the stack this s will be replaced by right side of the production rule so it will be q a s b there are two types of production of s s drive a s b and s drive a b so two transition function we write a b total number of terminals are 2 a or b so for that transition would be if a reads a as a top of the stack then it move to q epsilon which is pop so these four transition function would be used for push down automata for pda we have seen total seven tuples are there q is the state transition values are in this type a b are the terminals v union t s is the variable and t is the eighth we can find the v union t let's take an example one string for this grammar if s j a s b and we replace this s by terminals the string will be generated a a b b let's check where this string is accepted in this machine or not first start with re reading q a a b b is the input symbol and s is the first symbol that will be inserted in the stack so it is s if first if you will read so there is not any transition for s is the top of the stack and a is the input symbol so we assume it is epsilon so input symbol would be same so this s will be replaced by a s and b because we have not read a so again if we will read a for this a there will be a pop operation and top of this stack would be b next time you will read this a s is the top of the stack we have not transition so epsilon would be read now we have a choice for either we write q a s b or q a b a b in the stack so we have 2a only or 2b so we are going to put ab in the stack a b and b is already there now for reading this a this will be a pop for this b this b b will be pop for this b this b will be pop and finally stack is stack is empty so it is empty stack accepted so using this rule we can make equivalent pda for a any context free grammar this is equivalence of cfg to pda thank you